In this video, I'm going to briefly introduce the SEDS framework. SEDS is in fact a software package that allows you to easily teach your robot different tasks such as ordering your desk, sweetening your coffee, playing mini golf, serving drinks, and so on and so forth. You could see here a conceptual workflow describing how SEDS can be used. If you want your robot to do something for you, the first step is to teach it how to do that. This can be done easily just by, for example, back driving your robot. In order to get a good performance, you should show your robot a couple of demonstrations from different positions. You could also teach your task by teleoperating the robot if kinesthetic teaching is not possible. After this step, then the learning core of SEDS uses the provided demonstrations to build a generic model of the desired task. The learn model of the task then is sent to the executive core of SEDS where it can now control your robot in real time to perform the task in a way that you thought. Now your robot not only is able to do the task, but also it can generalize it to different situations. This is because SEDS learns the main features of the motion rather than just mimicking the demonstration. Similarly, your robot could also play mini golf and generalize it to different positions of the ball and the hole. If the motion is modeled in the Cartesian space, it can also be used to generate the same motion on another robot. More importantly, since SEDS works in closed loop, it provides you with an inherent robustness to perturbation and instant adaptation to changes in dynamic environments. As we could see here, this adaptation is done in real time without compromising the ability to perform the task. In this example, the robot is required to put a sugar cube in the coffee. But as the robot approaches the cup, the person constantly pushes the robot arm through the tactile sensors mounted on its forearm. Again, the robot is able to adapt on the fly to these perturbations and finally to sweep its coffee. With SCDS, it's also possible to avoid collision with other objects in the task space. Here, the robot is able to put the glass in front of the person the existence of several static and moving objects. Thanks to the inherent robustness of SCDS and its real-time performance, it's even possible to perform some amazing tasks such as dodging a fast-moving box, and catching flying objects such as a half-filled bottle of water. This video was a brief overview of the SEDS framework. Here I have avoided many details about how the obstacles are modeled, how the adaptation to different situations is obtained, and so on and so forth. For further information, please refer to the following references. Don't forget to check out my website to get the latest information and source codes. Thanks for your attention.